howdy folks welcome back to my channel welcome to another unboxing video today i've got another item here from lakato it was it about a week ago a little over a week ago i did an unboxing of those cowbells and at the same time they sent me this this should be an effects pedal let's get it open and find out what's inside so here we go okay so that was <laughs> easy packaging just one thing inside it says mini pedal on the box and it is taped shut let me go ahead and get this open all right so there's the top of the box we've got looks like a usb cable in there we've got uh, instruction manual that might be helpful because <laughs> i'm not even sure oh it says loop pedal okay um and then we've got what is obviously our pedal. This is the compact uh, style pedal, obviously. Let's go ahead and get this open here. Very nice, there it is. Looks like we've got one uh, potentiometer here, and then we've got a button to do the different interfaces. This is always so satisfying. Let's peel off this little protective plate. Oh, it just kind of wants to get bunched up there, doesn't it? There we go. I love that. It always feels so satisfying to do that. Okay, just taking a quick look here. Uh, we've got our, our bypass switch here. We've got an input and output jacks on the sides. We've got our nine volt in here. It's fairly heavy. I mean, this feels like it's got a pretty solid uh, chunk of circuitry in there. Let me go ahead and read the manual to figure out uh, exactly how this works. So I'm gonna pause here and read this and then we'll do a demo of it. Okay, folks, let's take a closer look here. So here is our pedal. And I have a nine volt uh, battery with a pedal dongle here. And if you plug that in, we see it sort of lights up, then it goes to one like that. Um, that indicates that it's ready to accept a loop. Now, this is not included. Uh, this is my own that I already had. Now, that's an interesting note that nothing is included to power this pedal. So you need to have your own power solution. Um, you could also power it with a pedal power supply like this one here, and this actually happens to be a Lakato pa pedal power supply, but if I plug that in, we see the same behavior, everything lights up, and then bam, it is ready to accept a loop. Now, a couple real quick things I want to point out. If we push this button, we can cycle through. It has three loops in storage, so you can cycle through them. All right, if you hold this button for one second, this light comes on. This is sync mode, where it will automatically start looping when you start playing. And then if you hold it for two seconds, it goes into tuner mode here where it works just as a standard tuner pedal. Remember it came with the USB cable. Now in the manual, it says the USB cable cannot be used to power it, but it can be used to um, upload config files or wave files to it. Well, if I plug this in, it lights up just like it does with the battery. It goes to one and then bam, it goes to you saying, you know, that it, it's not usable as a pedal in this configuration. Now that is quite confusing in my opinion. I think a lot of people are going to be confused by that because it comes with the USB cable. It doesn't come with a nine volt cable or anything like that. And it does power the pedal up, but it doesn't power it up to a state where it can be used. I think that is very confusing. They're probably going to get a lot of returns based on people being confused about that. That should really, um, they should really just include one of these little clips with it. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the output to my audio interface. And I'm going to go ahead and just to demo this real quick, I'm going to grab this here. This is a little uh, drone synth. Okay, so here's our setup. And let's go ahead and turn on our drone synth here. And we can hear that. But if I touch anything, we hear the different tones. And of course, you can tweak everything here. But this isn't a demo of the drone synth. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the start button on the pedal here. And then I'll make some noise over here. So what we see is it starts playing that back and our red loop turns to blue to show us kind of the playback, which is kind of neat. And of course it adapts to the length of the loop. So if the loop was a lot longer, this circle would move a lot slower. If the loop was shorter, the circle would move quicker. But now we can keep layering this up. So if I hit this again, You can hear both loops sound. I can even shut this off. 
you can hear both of those loops playing. Now, of course, if I want to keep adding on, I can. So let's hit this again. Now, another interesting thing here, you can start it anywhere within the loop. So I can start it right here. And I don't have to end it at the end of the loop either. I can keep going. It will just loop it. So now you can hear. So your loops don't have to be linear. They don't have to be locked to the starting and ending point. Now that's not the most musical thing in the world, but it does demonstrate how it works. Now when you want this to stop, you just hit this twice, and there you go. So that's kind of the basics of how it works. Let's try it with a string instrument. Okay, so I've plugged a guitar into the looper pedal here, and you can hear that. So there's our kind of raw tone. And then uh, what we're gonna do, first thing we're gonna do is clear out what's in there, okay? Okay, so now what we can do is we can put it into sync mode by holding this for one second. And then according to the manual, what that should do is when I start playing, it should start the loop, but I still have to uh, stop it manually. So let's try that. See if that works. To do that, of course, I can add something by re-looping. So let's do that right now. Now that note should be check captured in there. There we go. And again, I can add another one. Now both of those should be in there. There you go. And of course I can still play live on top of it. And there you go. That's basically how it works. So there you have it, folks. That was unboxing and quick demo of the Loop Auto from Lakato. Well, that's not, that's fun to say. The Loop Auto pedal from Lakato. You can get these on Amazon. They're currently selling in the $50 range. Um, honestly, the features that it does for what it costs, I think it's, it's a pretty darn good deal. Um, it has some nuances like most loop pedals do. The USB thing's a little, a little confusing, but um, once you start using it, it's actually, you know, it's fairly intuitive to use. So if you're looking for a loop pedal, you don't want to spend a lot of money. I think this is a great option for you. I will keep this around. It'll probably make some appearances in several of my videos. Um, Lakato seems to be a good company. I've done several of their unboxing videos in the past and uh, they've got some pretty good products. Now, if you like what I do on this channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon.